cold plunge is beneficial for women, but not as cold as what people think. So if we're talking like the Wim Hof method, the ice baths, again, sex differences. When we look at the gradient and the temperature gradient of when women start to shiver, or when women start to feel cold, it's around 16 degrees C. When we start looking at all of our autonomic nervous system responses, our shivering effects, it's not as cold for women as it is for men. We also see that it is more beneficial for women than it is for men, especially post-exercise, because women vasodilate, so all of their blood goes to the periphery away from the heart, which is why some women feel really lightheaded after exercise. For men, all the blood goes centrally. You have vasoconstriction. So to enhance that central return, women should get into cool water to create a vasoconstriction to send that blood back centrally to enhance recovery. So when we're talking about cold plunge, there's a time and a place for it, depending on if you're doing it for health reasons or if you're doing it for training reasons. For health reasons, there's no real reason why you can't do it like a few times a week. For training reasons, you want to make sure that you're doing it according to specific training blocks because there is a slight disadvantage for using cold and dampening inflammation because we need a little bit of that inflammatory response for adaptations. In other words, you may hurt your quote unquote gains if you're in the gym and working out and then you're jumping in the plunge right after. Right.